What's up guys, it is Tuesday, May 2nd, officially done with school as of yesterday, so kind of starting a new chapter now, um, but this new chapter feels very similar, making up my pre-workout before I go to the gym, um, watching Christian Guzman right there, getting a little bit of work done on the computer, so this new chapter feels very similar, just I don't have school to worry about, but right now what I'm trying to do is get this whole Dropbox thing figured out. Now, I don't usually use Dropbox that much, honestly, because a lot of times I don't do a lot of filming with other people, so all I ever have to worry about is putting the footage from my camera onto my laptop, and then I just edit from there. But um, I filmed with Justin from Team Rock Fitness yesterday. You guys will have already seen that video by the time this vlog is up. Um, but I wanna share some of the footage that I got on my camera because my autofocus is bomb this little Sony a5100 by the way if you guys are wondering what camera I use it's a Sony a5100 the autofocus on this thing it's small it's compact and the autofocus is freaking on point it picks everything up so fast so um, let's see if I can kind of test it out a little bit right now so uh, focus there come back and boom it's already picked me back up like it is so quick so I love that about this camera but trying to get this whole Dropbox thing worked out once I get that done I'm going to head to the gym hit a push workout so getting in oh, my car to head to the gym right now it is freaking beautiful outside like look at this weather seriously it's like 60 degrees no wind freaking perfect this morning I had to wake up at like 7 and drive across campus and when I was walking out to my car it was maybe 40 degrees, freezing cold, and it was raining and gross, and now it's beautiful outside. Only in Indiana will you see that kind of variation, fluctuation in weather, but um, head to the gym now. I'll see you guys there. The uh, Find the Kids 3D episodes for no shirt. Uh, All right, guys, so just picked up some Chick fil A. What I got was just a regular Chick fil A sandwich with nothing on it, and then I put my own ketchup on it, and I got a Diet Coke as well. And now I am driving to Indianapolis, so I got about an hour drive ahead of me. And I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I've been thinking about a lot lately that everyone's been thinking and talking a lot about lately because it's just exploded in the fitness industry and it's about frauds and fakes and scams, scams and shreds. <laughs> but um, what I, I want to kind of give my two cents on this because um, I'm a personal trainer and I offer my services to other people so um, people like Devin Physique, people like the Shreds team that are scamming people, are they're giving me, they're giving the fitness industry, they're giving people that offer something actually valuable a bad name. So I kind of wanted to talk on it and touch on it for a second. And in my opinion, when I look at somebody for like a personal trainer or something like that, I am always skeptical. I'm always skeptical, it's, honestly with anything. Any service somebody's offering, I'm always skeptical about what I'm going to get for my money because the world we live in today, it's all about what does somebody offer for a for like the cheapest price? What is the best deal I can get on a service or a product or whatever? What do you offer? And in my opinion, when it comes to the Shreds team or whatever or any sucky personal trainer, if the only stuff you offer, people have to pay for, you might be a fraud. <laughs> in my opinion 
you look at people that do YouTube videos, you look at people that offer awesome free programs that might not necessarily come with personal training, like one-on-one -on -one personal training, but come with, but you can get free stuff from them. If somebody is offering you free content, whatever that might be, they probably care a little bit more, they probably care about a little bit more than just money. For me, with the whole fitness thing, I put full workouts, I give diet advice, I give motivational talks, everything on my YouTube channel, everything you guys watch on a consistent basis is free content. You don't have to pay for any of it. Yeah, I offer personal training, I offer more hands-on, one-on-one um, services that you guys can, can go get, but at the end of the day, my goal is to help as many people as possible, and I really do mean that. When I started personal training, the only reason I got a personal training certification was so I could have some credentials to help other people because I started, I literally started with a goal of helping one person. My friend from high school wanted to get in shape for his wedding in three months and he asked, hey Treg, I know you're into fitness, can you help me? And I said, absolutely, I can help you. Hold on, I'm gonna finish out my certification. Once I finish that, I'll have the knowledge, I'll have the ex I won't necessarily have the experience yet, but I'll have the knowledge that I can put together something to really help you. And my goal was to help that one person, that one person. And then through YouTube, through other social media, I've been able to help hundreds of other people. But my main goal, the reason I started everything, was to help that one person, was to help Cameron get in shape for his wedding. And when I look at personal trainers, and I look at the fitness industry, it's all about what does somebody offer you for free? Because if they offer you something for free, they, again, I'll repeat it, they probably care about more than just money. And you can say, oh, well, uh, Paige Hathaway or Devin Physique, they're putting out YouTube videos now. Yeah, they're putting out YouTube videos, but they didn't start putting out YouTube videos till they started getting mad hate and heat from everybody calling them out. Now they're trying to cover up their freaking scams that they've been running because they want to show, oh no, I'm actually in it for helping others. I, I want to offer more than just this shreds product or um, this 30 day challenge. I offer more. I'm actually about helping people. No, you're not. If you have to cover yourself by putting out YouTube videos that are all chopped and edited to make you sound like you actually care. In my opinion, if you can't just sit here and talk and be real with unedited clips like I am right now, then you're probably a fraud. You're probably a fraud and what you're saying is probably not coming from the heart. For me right now, you look at my videos, you look at when I talk, you look at when I'm giving something like a motivational talk, something that I'm passionate about. You don't see cuts, you don't see edits. It's because I care about what I'm talking about. Plain and simple. If somebody cares about what they're talking about, they don't need a bunch of edits, they don't need a bunch of fancy um, special effects and all this different stuff in their videos. And if you look at the Shreds team, their videos they're putting out, man, they can't, they can't put together an entire full sentence about how much they care about you without it cutting back and forth, back and forth. And in my opinion, it's fake. You're a fraud. If all you offer is a steroid-induced, unachievable physique and mirror selfies with your tongue hanging out and nothing but double tap for motivation, double tap if you worked out today, you're probably a fraud. Plain and simple, you're probably a fraud and you probably actually don't care about anybody except for how many likes you're getting on your pictures. Plain and simple. It's all about the bottom line and it's all about money to those people. So. What I wanted to get across here is, be careful who you listen to. Be careful who you listen to, because there are a lot of smoke and mirrors in this industry. I mean, it starts with the supplement industry, but that's an entire story on itself, because in my opinion, the supplement industry is the wild, wild west right now. There, you might have 1% of everything that's being sold in the supplement industry that's actually helpful. Everything else is just BS, but that's an entire different topic on itself. Um, so basically what I wanted to say was be careful who you listen to, be careful what you watch, be careful the information that you get, and be careful the people you spend your money on hiring to help you because they're probably, most of the time, just in it for the money. They're probably a big, fat, scamming fraud. <laughs> but um, that's just my two cents on the entire topic. Um, I don't want to waste too much of this video talking about it because 
there's been a hundred other videos now about this whole this whole crazy uh, I don't even know falling out with shreds but um, that's just what my opinion on it um, just wanted to keep it real with you guys and plus yeah it's just what I've been thinking about lately all right guys so here in Indy just got done seeing the Jungle Book finally after it's been out for like three and a half weeks and I finally saw it and I went to this place called Flix brew house. I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty cool. You go in and while you're in there, you can order like drinks, you can order sandwiches. Um, so I got like a burger and a drink and it was super good, but it wasn't as good as the movie because Jungle Book was fantastic. And honestly, the most impressive thing about the Jungle Book, in my opinion, was knowing that the entire movie was shot in a downtown warehouse in Los Angeles. Like the entire movie was animated. Like everything was created on a computer, except for Mowgli, except for that little boy who did a fantastic job of portraying Mowgli. Fantastic job. The movie was so good. I'm gonna go see it again, but literally I thought, I don't know, that might be my favorite movie I've seen this year. Deadpool was incredible, but what this movie accomplished in terms of animation, in terms of creating, um, a new spin on an old story like the Jungle Book that has been done before a couple different times. I thought it was fantastic. Definitely, definitely recommend going to see it. If you guys have not seen the Jungle Book yet, go see it. It's so good. It's definitely worth the money. Um, like I said, I'm gonna go see it again. Do um, you wanna give your opinion on it? No, I look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> she liked it though. Loved it. But, it was great. Um, yeah, so good. So. Um, yeah, I jumped. very good. When? When the, when the when, tiger jumped out. Oh, uh, when Shere Khan jumped Both out. Both times. You know, I was kind of surprised. Shere Khan was super, like, he was actually scary in this movie. Like, it's made, like, it's The nice. Jungle Book is a Disney kids movie, but I don't know if kids, like, that are younger than, I don't know. This movie probably pushed PG-13, but, I don't know. If I was a little kid, I would have been pretty scared of that tiger, but... <laughs> Oh well, I thought it was a good movie. Definitely go see it if you haven't yet.